If you take our channel and you would go on our channel and look at all the videos from top to bottom, like imagine like you would put them all in a tube and like all our videos in a tube and you would look from one end of the tube. I, you, you shouldn't put out videos in a tube. Hey guys, today we're playing a movie-based game by LJN and usually that means, well you know what it means, but this is one of the few games that's actually extremely well done, it follows the movie, it follows the scenes and this is one of those absolutely perfectly well-rounded games. In fact, let's say you go to the password screen, you can see there's no fancy characters, no uppercase, lowercase, just uppercase, no digits and not even the letter A. It's all very short and sweet. Now this is one of those games with Arnold Schwarzenegger that came out on actually, if you think about it, on almost every single console, on handhelds, on the Sega Genesis, uh, on the, or the Mega Drive, uh, on the uh, Super Nintendo, on the Game Gear, on the Game Boy, and you know, they've always kept it fantastic. Like I said, the only difference in terms of uh, consoles is the actual uh, sprites uh, and colors. That's what I wanted to ask actually. Both versions of the game is the same thing, except the colors are different and music. Yep. I did hear that apparently one of the levels is different. Yeah, as far as I remember, I've played all of them. Uh, I mean, I played the handhelds for quite a little bit, to be honest. I never truly explored it. And I think there's a difference in levels between the Super Nintendo and the Genesis Mega Drive version. Um, the other, like you said, the music's different. And that's the thing. Genesis has that classic Genesis sound we're all used to. You shoot the shotgun and you can walk, see? See, that's impressive. That is necessary to survive, because this game is hard. The other one, for example, if you say you switch to the Uzi, you roll and you stay, stay down shooting. So, it looks like it has a very fluent control. I mean, like you said, it's difficult controls, but if you master it, you, you can actually take control of Arnold quite yeah. well. Oh, see the guy with the newspaper? Like, nobody gonna start shooting? Oh, there you go. See? Like, look how awesome it is. Even the NPCs react to what you do. Oh god! Be careful. I... Uh, uh, you guys gonna oh see... Oh my god, Holy did you crap. see that? Who's rapid firing? You're gonna see how oh, far... Oh, also, another thing. Sorry to interrupt you. A lot of games, if the enemy's not on screen, you can't hit them. They simply don't exist. Here I saw, I saw and heard the guy shooting me. So, all I was standing here, shooting his direction, the guy died. You can hear him going... Ugh. Here you just gotta, you know, keep rolling down the mountain. I remember. Oh I god, give me that health kit. I remember hitting. I want that too. Oh, you know, by the way, you don't get. To, you sometimes don't get to keep the weapons within level, which is bullshit. Sometimes. Oh. That's weird. Yeah, it's a little weird. By the way, like you mentioned, this game is very tough on the difficulty, and it don't. They don't give you continuous, I believe. Yeah, it doesn't scale. Like difficulty doesn't scale, and you get no continuous. Like they give you lives. Like. Yeah, I mean health and lives, but no continues. Yeah, I just picked up another mega. That's why I did it. Four lives right now. But they do give you a very convenient password when you beat the level. Yeah. So and the levels are not that long. I mean they are long if you want to explore, but if you know what you're doing, they're quite short. So I think it's still forgiving. I mean, if you can, you know, you get three lives. And the you game get... is forgiving until you get to the guy. Other when the enemy has flame throwers in that case. Oof. Actually, if you can go to the flamethrower, it'll be fine too. The game is forgiving. It's, it's a great game. It's a movie-based game that doesn't suck, and that's the most impressive thing. Here is the password. Here is the password. I've always wanted to do this in real life, but never got a free escalator to do so. Oh god. I for some reason remember that one thing I remember. I want to walk up an escalator. Damn it! That's going in a different direction. By the way, I remember. Whoa, the grenade will get you. Oh my wow. god! Did you see did that? that? SNES version. I remember SNES version has a very different graphics here. They actually show you this direction. I wonder if yeah. it's an actual if it's an actual map or not. 
I gotta get about it. You're gonna lose your lives. Remember how I had five? You wanna ignore the enemies. Just dead ass ignore the enemies. Blow up the doors. If the doors are gone, they won't spawn. Oh. See, I never knew what to do. I kept... I, I, I this kept, isn't uh, forgiving. And, uh, a guy will show up and it's gonna be a shootout with shotguns. See, I remember I kept trying to kill the guys. I never knew that... That's the guy, but he's supposed to be in a different shirt. He's, he's a, a purple shirt. He's a purple shirt in SNES version. It's a shotgun duel and you just brought a knife. Like this, this is the only thing the game is missing! You think the shotgun is more convenient here rather than Uzi? The Uzi is gone, oh god. Oh. The good thing is, shotgun has a short range, which is your advantage! Holy shit. So as long as you roll, you're okay. Yes, <laughs> Keep rolling, you'll be fine! Oh god, I didn't hit him once! I, I didn't hit him once! It. I hated that boss. The guy is immune to bullets! Well, okay, he's not immune to bullets. You're doing good, you're doing good. The thing is, uh, unlike most other games... No! It... Okay, good, good, good. And now it's a shotgun battle! Imagine two dudes just mm -hmm. shooting each other point blank with a shotgun. You walk into a bathroom and it's like, oh god, I gotta take a piss real bad, and there's two dudes going at it. So while you do this, I'm going to review this bathroom. You see five toilets. Oh, see, and review is over. So you're going but to don't worry, it. it's a video coming up. The cutscenes don't look bad. The cutscenes, like I said, the graphics, the colors are a little different between the consoles, but you get the point across. Um, the other thing is handhelds, I didn't get far. Handhelds, I found to be tremendously difficult, tremendously unplayable, but they do try. You start at the Chateau, just like you start here and everything else. There's one soundtrack playing, which is the subway from this game. Mm. But uh, I never got far in those. I mean, um, and uh, I'm sorry to interrupt again. Uh, game Gear, uh, Sega Game Gear is in color, whereas Game Boy is black and white. But it is a portable version of the game, so you know it's, it's still there. It's pretty sweet. You can't really compare handhelds to TV consoles, but from yeah. what I've seen, yeah, they really tried. I mean, it looks good for any for Game Boy and Game Gear, you know, yeah. it looks great actually, but this is like way superior. Yeah. I like how he gets up, but the saddest <laughs> thing is if you shoot the guy, uh, his, uh, well, his body ro rolls off the bench and it's actually really sad. I'm not doing it! <laughs> no. all of you! <laughs> I remember this stage on SNES and green looks a lot greener. I think I think SNES is a little bit prettier on this level. Yeah. Like this I mean, level specifically. I mean, other levels are different, uh, but I wouldn't say necessarily better. But I think the park area is better on SNES. You know, like the difference between the two games, it's hard for me to tell which version I like more. I mean, the one thing Genesis has, like I've said already many, many times, is the, that Genesis sound. Yeah, I prefer this version for two reasons. First is music, mm -hmm. and second is... Uh, originally, with grab a help! <laughs> uh, I prefer this version because uh, we originally played it on Sega. Yeah. And, of course, the music. I remember I was like, what, eight, nine? How old does it... Shit, 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 Jesus! Fuck, this guy. He walks a lot because Russia and Japan, I guess, Fuck so yeah. close to each other. Yeah. We got Famicom, so we had the smaller cartridges, yeah. not the giant S and uh, also not the had, giant NES ones. Didn't we have Ducktales with an actual picture of a duck? So and you I can find the cartridge. <laughs> I will, I, I will find it, and here it is. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of an uh, Ducktales, literally had an actual like living duck. I'm out of pocket now. Uh, but it actually, as far as I know, I know, we'll double check, but as far as I know, it's an official cartridge. It is? It's official it's a Famicom cartridge. It's a real live duck. And it's official cover. It's not somebody homemade it. It's an official, actual cover for DuckTales. But so, I thought it was a joke. I'm, I'm no, not kidding. <laughs> no, the Famicom version actually had a real life duck slapped on the cover of the cartridge. Everyone talks about DuckTales. But no one ever talks about this game. There is no remake. Oh, here is a perfect example of a god ah, crap. He's coming. The time out. Oh god. Fuck. 
Like I said, fuck. Like I said, fuck. Right. <laughs> Wait, Wait are you going the right way? Yeah, because I need the key. I'm backtracking effectively. You know how I feel about backtracking. Yeah. Go back. Go from here. Let's let's see to it. A lot shorter. Nah, too late. Too late. Less, more shorter. That's it. Yeah. Yep. Now, go back. Go he, he took a hit. Did he? Yeah. Nice. Take that, Arnold. Look alike. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. While you fight, I'm gonna mention a few things that I noticed so far. Really? Like I said, it's easier to lose a life. Oh, See, damn. I didn't even die. Again, look how different the environment is. Ah, we've crap. Been, we slide it down from the hill. We've been in a mansion. We have uh, visited a shopping center. Now we're somewhere deep on the ground in subway stations, in subway tunnels. I love the variety in this game. Which is, by the way, taken from the movie. Yeah, I mean, uh, another thing, like, your boss says that you have to find the control box, switch the trains from constantly traveling, so you can go over it. Your idea is you're trying to head down uh, the railway track that way, and if you do, and, and like, and if you go right now, the train crushes you before you can cross. You're trying to cross, like, mm -hmm. directly up ahead. And I always, as a little kid, as soon as I get to this level, I keep trying, but it keeps crushing. I was like, I fucking remember. damn, there's gotta be a way. I remember we kept trying, yeah. So remember, we had no English, so we couldn't understand the tips. Yeah. And yeah, I remember we kept trying and trying to cross yeah. the thing. We knew you have to do something, like we understood that it's gotta be... Uh, first of all, eight years old, eight or nine. I mean, yeah, I was eight or nine, you were uh, yeah. two and a half years older than Yeah, me, so, so still, and no English. So we knew you have to do something, but we couldn't figure... We were always thinking like maybe you can actually skip ahead. Yeah, I mean... I wish James AVGN would play this game. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I really want him to look at this because I feel like maybe he doesn't know about this game. Yeah, you. Uh, to be honest, he's played so many uh, Schwarzenegger games, so many LJN games, and this is one of those things that's both on Super Nintendo, that's both LJN and Schwarzenegger. A movie based, it's a Schwarzenegger movie based game by LJN, the holy trinity of crap, but it's not crap, it's actually fantastic. There is one way to let James know about this game. <laughs> it's a joke, obviously. You, we could take one of his recent videos mm -hmm. and like insert part of his video into our video and he would see it as a copyright claim and then he would see the footage. We're a smaller channel, so I honestly don't care when I see somebody using our stuff. Yeah. I would let them. And some of them are nice. They're like only 10% of our video is being used and it's usually like a compilation of videos. And they would usually leave uh, credit to original source. Yeah. So it's like, huh, bathroom reviews. But some people just straight up bluntly copied our videos. It says like 100% and they release it as their own videos. But they don't get much views, so I'm like, oh, whatever. Get that high. Stop shooting it. Fuck. Stray bullets kill people every year. Gun safety people. So this level exists in SNES version as well. Yeah, and like it depends. Uh, if you listen to the soundtrack for both uh, Super Nintendo and the Genesis, you just have to pick your own favorite the for this level, just because they sound so different, but it sounds awesome either way. Here's the deal. Okay, what they can hit blow up the servers. Wait, it's almost like the boss. Also, what thing. the hell? The I think they reduced the uh, amount of damage I take. Because you can see how many people were ganging up on me. Yeah. And I didn't die. Like, what? Wait, so here. Oh, that guy from the bathroom is back. Same guy. So, wait, here the main point is to destroy all the generators. You're destroying the servers. The servers. You're destroying the uh, terrorists. Uh, Base here, oh god, oh shit, in Christ, I'm down. So I never really, see, I never really knew what to do here either. I sucked at boss levels, like I really sucked. To be fair, levels. this is one of the hardest parts of the game, arguably, because you have to fight a, un the enemies will keep spawning so as long as those things are up. And then you have to keep fighting enemies that are so much tougher, that you're guaranteed to lose a life. Why not have continues? Or you don't want to stay, stand too close to him. No, no, but like it's stupid. You're guaranteed 
to die. Actually guaranteed. Like I said, if you even if you learn to dodge the roll thing I talked about, even if you master that shit, you're going to die. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! What? Whoa! Where? I forgot those rocket launcher guys exist. So uh, what do you say? This game does it get obnoxious or no? You don't feel like it's repetitive. Nah, it's not in any way. Every single level has a different objective, a different end goal in what you're supposed to do. So, you know, like, you're, always, you're chasing, uh, obviously, the main bad guy, right? But the actual objective before you finish each level is different. Here you gotta shoot out in the bathroom with the guys. You're trying to descend a damn mountain. You're trying to blow up the crates with the weaponry that's, you know, inbound. You got everything going on, and it's always different. You know, I don't even know what can be done to make it better. It's actually good. Like, graphics, sound, gameplay. I do not remember the ship. I actually don't remember the ship either. Wait, could that be an, a bonus level? Maybe? I also remember there's something about nukes and flying. You know, it kind of reminds me of Die Hard on NES, if it was good. Mm -hmm. If it was good. <laughs> I like how you qualified it. Frequent flyer miles. Back then? Wait, there is a flying level. There is, yeah. Uh, VR really changed the way you interact with video games. Like, uh, in know, a good way. In a good way. way. In fact, yeah. Because... Uh, I'm not not just the reloading part, but overall the world around you that you could, you know, okay. when I was exploring Half-Life, I, I would like literally... Look at this, oh, look at this situation. Wow. Just roll. You can, I think you can roll. It, it, like as long as you roll, oh. it can hit you. Yep. Oh, he, they can't hit me, but this guy like... Fuck. So in Half-Life, for example, I could, you know, go under the bed, reach out for like a clock, and if you shake it, you would hear the sound of the, you know, all the mechanical parts shaking inside the clock. The way you can interact, so practically your arm is not attached to your eyes. Like yeah. you, you don't have to have this constant lock. And VR lets you control separately your head and your arms. That I would say actually a lot better than the mouse controlled games. And yeah. I wonder when it's gonna be a hybrid where we can test a shooter, people playing on keyboard and mouse and me playing in VR. We'd say Pavla VR, which is like a Counter-Strike game could be cross-compatible uh, with PC and I want to see who would be better because I'm pretty sure I can actually be better than players on keyboard. They're, they're going to be locked. Their eyes are locked to the arm. For yeah, me, but I the can, mouse gives you that precision in terms Yeah, of but I'm, like, I can shoot pretty well in VR because it's it's as this, you know? Could you run Half-Life Alex on Google Cardboard on the cheapest of all headsets? <laughs> this literal piece of cardboard in front of your eyes. The thing is, yes, you can. Actually, you can and there's videos of people doing that, but it requires a lot of work So practically Google Cardboard is a uh, Two pair of lenses that is looking straight at your phone. Yeah, there is a certain programs that you can connect your phone So practically yes, you can make your Google Cardboard headset be fully playable with Half-Life Alex. You know, so many games have this kind of level. Um, like, for example, in Resident Evil 5, there is whole, you know, factory yeah, but level. that's because oil is evil. Video game bathroom reviews were originally like a joke video. Mm -hmm. People liked it, so we made a second one. And actually, I, we didn't make the second one because people liked the first one so much. It's just I realized I missed out on a few. So by the time we made the second uh, video, I was like, shit, we have to revisit, you know, good old bathrooms of, of uh, sight and filter. I thought you were going to say Silent Hill there And Silent Hill, yes. And you well. did cover Silent Hill, and that's so, not necessary. And then I thought, okay, fuck it. All those bathrooms can be like separated into the retro group. And then when this was done, 
we were like, shit, there's so many good games in VR. So VR games featured some insane bathrooms and I thought, okay, fuck it, that's the next video. And after that, I realized there is a lot of uh, retro games in VR, remade in VR. So I'm like, okay, since we did the video game bathrooms retro, we can uh, trace back and do another one for the video game bathrooms retro in VR. So eventually, now we start with video game bathrooms 2D, so the list goes on. By the way, we actually have a request uh, in, one of the, in one of our comments, I think in one of our recent videos. The guy wants us to do a bathroom review, but he wants to send us a photo of his lavatory. Mm -hmm. So we could add it to the list, you know, when we do the bathroom reviews, we can... I have an idea of how I'm going to review it. Would you look at that? That's wow. just... One of the biggest... What are those things doing? What's their Why? purpose? <laughs> what are they squishing? Yeah. Imagine some guy trying to work in an oil refinery and he's like, Oh, you gotta get past that motherfucker. <laughs> Why do they have this at the oil refinery? You're a worker, just trying to get your fucking... Oh. Okay, what is this shit? You no, know, maybe bad guys have installed it to capture Harry. Man, that takes some fucking skill and time right there. Like, why? Oh, damn. Yeah. Oh, I think they're unlimited. You need to go through. Wait, again? Wait, what? Okay, wait, maybe you need to kill them all. What is endurance? I don't remember this part. Is it, is it like a boss thing or not? Okay, maybe. yeah, it feels like it. Yeah, hold on. I what think there's the a point heck? to it. I'm pretty sure. I think it's a boss fight. First of all, the, en the enemy is becoming more and more difficult. So... <laughs> wow. This is a cool thing that they actually hurt each other as well. What the fuck? Okay, hold on. Secure leg, buddy! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, we walked right into it. And the second time. Fuck. Move, 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 move! I, I'm gonna be so pissed off if it's, if it's not a boss fight. You better be. I'm already pissed off. I kind of like this whole falling down animation. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> that just about ends the party. What kind of party was this? Well, the nukes are coming. Shh, I remember that part. See the actual asphalt when the bullet lands? Yeah. It leaves you holes. Can, see? You can actually see the bullet holes. It's like, yeah, I mean, if a 50 cal machine gun on a plane would shoot, uh, shoot asphalt in the roadway, look at it. The hole is there. That is fucking badass. This game is so early. It's Genesis. I mean, Super Nintendo. And they got all this shit down. This is fucking fantastic. <laughs> Come on! Zero, zero, zero. Oh, nice. That wasn't too hard. By the way, another movie scene, and I absolutely always uh, loved it. He literally flies his thing in, and the main terrorist guy, Aziz, is like, God damn it! This is like a classic 90s action movie game. I love it. You don't have to kill everyone you meet, obviously, but like, fuck those guys! Oh god. Oh, you could trigger them? Yeah. I didn't know that. If you're pro enough, you can trigger anybody. Like I mentioned earlier at the beginning of our video, this game came out on Genesis, on the Super Nintendo, but it also came out in the Sega Game Gear, the portable console, and it uh, came out on Game Boy. The Game Boy color is in black. The Game Boy color. The Game Boy one is in uh, black and white, and it does follow the, game, the story as far as I know. It got the chateau and got everything else going on. I know it's a little bit less levels included, I think. On yeah, the uh, it's got the soundtracks are a bit mixed up because of the limitations of the uh, portable console. But it does try to give you the game as much as it can, which is actually pretty sweet. And uh, it's still there. Obviously, it doesn't look the part. Um, the I'm, oof, I gotta check again, but uh, I think the uh, Game Gear gives you little uh, cut cutouts and uh, portraits. when like say your boss talks to you or whenever you die or anything else yeah whereas the uh, Game Boy just gives you plain text you know they still utilized everything they could 
on all yeah. the consoles. TV on consoles and the handhelds, they <laughs> try their best. It's like we're limited here in color, we're limited in resolution and capabilities, but it's like they didn't let them, they, they like they made sure that wouldn't stop them in any way, shape, or form. They gave you everything they could. Yeah. Sure, you're playing portable version. It's like playing portable version of the uh, Super Mario Brothers. But that's the thing. It was always like a thing where if you portable would always be portable, and you would be okay with that because it's either portable or nothing. The music is badass. Yeah. And it's kind of this one is kind of where the fuck did you go? Yeah, levels. It's Arguably, there's uh, the uh, garden level, and this one is the where the fuck did you go? They are confusing. How many levels is this level? That's deep, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's actually, we keep going higher and higher. It still makes it deep, yeah. I wanna go higher. This is the last level of the game, but it's brutally difficult. Like, damn. It's as if the game is trying to stop us from succeeding. And actually, it is like, and I, we... I feel like it's, I feel the tension because our camera ran out, the tape, and now, tape. well, whatever, the space, and the, the earphones we're using also running out of juice. Which so, is stupid, I bought those things and never were ready for 12 hours. They were fully charged, yeah, when we started? Yes. So it's Motherfuckers like... Motherfuckers couldn't last two and a half hours. Before hour. things ran out of power, tape, uh, space, we need to finish the game. There you go. And all it took was taking two rocks to the fucking face. Remember this guy was a boss, but now he's yeah. just a regular enemy? Okay, yeah. here. Here where we need to go. And that's it. You're a fool, Harry. You can think of the crimson she had. Well, mm, the seats will run red with your blood. This is it. Actually, this is how the uh, the movie ends. They actually... That's did... the main bad guy, that's your daughter. And Harry gets on this fighter jet and I'll never forget it. So they actually included a cutscene. It's absolutely beautiful. Again, it's an LGN game. An Arnold LGN game. That's truly the movie and it's fantastically done. It's literally as true the movie and as he possible. he fires him with a missile. Yeah, that's what I remember. He lands on the jet, hits his balls. And then he hangs onto the missile, and Harry files the missile, and he goes right to the fucking building. They did it all the way through, and then there he's dancing with his wife. They didn't know he was a spy all along, hence the true life part and all did that. Did she find out at the end? Yeah, I mean, there. She did. And she did find yeah. out he's a, he's a spy, he's been doing this whole important work, stopping terrorism and everything. And go, there you go. And I'll never forget, in the movie they had this little transponder, GPS, and it was like a little, like, very thin shoe based thing and it was like flashing lights and I was like damn GPS transporter in the movie back then by the time GPS was already available they can the dial guy, modem here yeah it's true they have internet and everything and the main bad guy is like nice transponder you got and he crushes under foot absolutely so, beautiful follows the movie but the only major uh, part that's what truly makes the game hard is the fact that you have three lives and no continues but simple and easy to use cheat system and if you, if you go slow the game is very very doable and I would say that uh, I didn't play the game, I watched the game, but the graphics were stunning, the music was amazing, the levels were fun, the action was really intense, and I see it's fully following the movie, like you yeah. just mentioned. And yeah, uh, people don't talk enough about this game, it's pretty cool. It's a game that's worth going back to, it's a game worth picking up, it's a, worth, it's a game definitely worth playing. So, anyways, thanks for watching. You have USB 3.0, which we know is 5 gigabit per second, yeah. theoretical. Right there. Now, you have USB 3.1, which is 5 gigabits per second, the same as USB 3.0. You have USB 3.1 Gen 1, which is USB 5, 5 gigabits per second. You have USB 3.1 Gen 2, which is 10 gigabit per second. You have USB 3.2 Gen 1, which is 5 gigabit per second. And you have USB 3.2 Gen 2, which is 
10 gigabit per second. Then you have the variants of those that support higher frame rates using two lanes, which give you 40 gigabit per second, um, using different connections between USB-A, which is the standard USB socket everybody knows, and USB-C. And then with USB-C, you can finally, finally have USB-4, which runs at the same speed as Thunderbolt 3, which is 40 gigabit per second. So when you, you, you're thinking, I'm just gonna buy this USB 3.1 cable, and it's gonna be like 10 gigabit, it's five gigabit. Or are you thinking I'm going to buy this uh, 5 gigabit cable, but it's 10 gigabit? Confused yet? It's as confusing as it sounds. Never mind you. So you decide, fuck it, I'm just going to go to a reliable provider. No nonsense, no junk, uh, USB IF listed. I'm going to buy USB 3.1 Gen 2 cable. And it's dead ass on the cable. It just says USB 10 gigabit super speed. And you're like, yeah, finally, fuck it. I got a 10 gigabit cable that supports it. And when you said VR link, that's what they're talking about. You have to get the right cable. You can buy a cable that's USB A U to USB C, but it's USB this and that and that and that, that in between. You have to get the right cable. All you have to do is make sure that it's at least five gigabits. If it doesn't list five gigabit anywhere, you're fucked. 